Hey everyone, I uh, just want to say, talk a little bit about this, Fire Team Zero, quickly become one of my favourite games. Uh, I got it in, I think I got it in December is when I took delivery of it myself, it arrived before that but by the time I got home it was December the 15th and I started playing it almost immediately and I've got like 33 to 34 plays in. Um, and I, and I can't stop playing it. I've played solo, I've played three players, I've played uh, two players, I've played with three characters, four characters. And I think with the recent Kickstarter that's just about to fulfill in the next month or so, I think this will be getting a lot more love because there doesn't seem to be a great deal of love on the forums. I mean, the forum is not empty, but there's, there's, if you compare it to something like, okay, unfair to compare it to Gloomhaven, but if you compare it to something like that, which I just did, <laughs> I said I wouldn't. You know, there's not that many uh, posts and stuff on there, and there's not that many pictures of the painted miniatures and stuff. I mean, there are a few, of course there are, but there's not that many. So I'm hoping that once that fulfills, there's gonna be a lot more love for this game, and a lot more people um, are interested in it. I'll put a link to the Facebook group, the Fire Team Zero fan group, which is at the moment stands at a massive, there's only 35 members for some reason, I can't understand it, why it's more people aren't uh, interested in this. So I myself have, um, I bought this on the secondary market. I late pledged for uh, some of the expansions, well, both expansions and some monster packs and the, and the spawn point thing, I think. I can't remember I can, but I've, I've pledged for a fair bit of stuff. And I am considering doing a how to play for this. So let me know if anyone's interested in that because I'm fairly familiar with this game now. And I think if I took my time and did it in a different style to I do my playthroughs, I think I could probably uh, make a decent how to play. Um, well, I'm hoping. I mean, not not as good as other people, but I think I think it will be uh, passable and it will assist you with some of the mm, let's say rules ambiguity, ambiguities, but of which there aren't that many anyway, to be honest. But that's something I'm thinking about. So this will be followed up by my short video on the miniatures I painted for. Operation 2 and Mother's Love. So I'll probably, I'll just tag these both together. I'm not going to do two separate videos. I don't want to be a, a view whore. So um, that's it basically. So that's all I wanted to say. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, my next intention next is to do the, I didn't do the first mission because a lot of people have done that. I did do the second mission and I am intending to do very soon the third mission but I'm in the process of probably moving very soon uh, to another apartment so I'm probably going to do the third mission like which is like the boss mission if you like so that's it thanks for watching and like and subscribe and I will catch you all on the next playthrough bye for now hey everyone I already made a video before showing you the miniatures I painted for Operation 1 of Fire Team Zero, so I thought I will just knock up a quick video showing you the ones I've done for Operation 2. It's going to be a short video because I'm in Indonesia and unfortunately the internet access, or the access is fine, but the speed is not so good. And when I did my walkthrough of the last Fire Team Zero uh, mission I played, uh, they were running at like 30 minutes of time and it was taking a long time to, to upload so I'm gonna maybe for the next mission I'm gonna try and keep them to maybe 15 20 minutes but we'll see but this will be a short video just to show you uh, these miniatures for operation 2 which I believe is called a mother's love so these are the bait bags now there's eight of these in the core set uh, what I've tried to do is try to give them a little bit of variation in color and I saw somebody on Facebook had painted some some gore and stuff on there, so I sort of copied that on some of them. Um, I've tried to make the figures slightly different, as I said, just to give some variation on the board. So like this one I did with uh, like green trousers. This one I did with let's have a look with the, like blue jeans. I would like to go back at some point and redo the pants a bit. I think because. They don't seem to have a great deal of highlighting on them. Um, I'm quite happy with the with the skin work. That's uh, some of the best skin work I've ever done, uh, and more than good enough for, for tabletop quality. Uh, see, I've also done one 
with uh, with grey pants. So as you can see, and a lot more gore. So there's some variation between the same type of miniature, just to to make that a little bit more interesting on the table for the players. And I'll be honest, when I I mean, they're so much better than just having just the plastic unpainted. I mean, I walk past these sometimes. I leave them out on display for myself and when I see them it just makes me want to play the game so uh, that, that's that's a good thing about doing it what I have also seen today on Facebook which I don't know I ever thought about it before because I did it with my Mansions of Madness and my and Mystics is maybe I should replace these with um, with clear I really I'm considering that maybe not for the heroes but for, for these and the rest of the um, elite and elite to, sorry, elite and uh, minions, like these are minions. Uh, these are bait bags, by the way, which I, I didn't mention at the beginning. Um, I think maybe I'm gonna look into, at some point, getting some clear bases. So that's essentially what we have there for the bait bags. So let's move on to the next ones, which are consumed bait bags. And as you can see, I've done a little bit of variation in these as well uh, some I've gone for like a skin tone in the face a red shirt a little bit of gore showing there the coats are all pretty much the same minimal highlighting just I mean what I do I just painted a base coat and then just went on with Agrax Earthshade then just came back and did some some highlighting fairly easy I think anyone can manage that this one's slightly different with the blue i kept with the green the green the green pants what i tried a um, different method of my normal painting i just didn't actually paint these i inked them so i undercoated in white and then instead of painting and going for highlighting i just um painted with ink afterwards and it sort of did the highlighting for me this one you can see i've made the skin white rather than rather than skin coloured these are consumed bait bags, I believe. I think pretty much the coats, uh, like these two are similar. The coats and the boots are the same. And then these two, I think, are... So, okay, so basically I've got three with blue shirts and one with red, but there's no reason for that. This one, I've put some gore on there, which I don't know why I haven't done on, on the other ones. I mean, I really did paint these fairly quickly. I painted the whole lot, as I said, in my other video in like two weeks, so on and off. Just, just rush through I wanted to get it done I wanted to play the game <laughs> so yeah so that's the consumed bait bags and then we come to I th think this is called the mother of worms not a great job on this one I could have spent some more time on the on the base I think maybe put some sand or something on there I don't know but uh, I just sort of uh, got some green and some dark green and some white and I think I just sort of wet blended it really really thin coat of paint and wet blended everything on the model itself uh, didn't take me long to do <laughs> as you can see stuck some blood in the middle there can we see what's there yeah just did that um, and then nothing else much to say on that one really I think the base could do maybe a little bit more work obviously I would never I wouldn't rebase these onto clear because it's just pointless because they've got quite nice bases they just need a little bit of work um, additional but like I say I was doing them really quick and I just wanted to get them for the game so that is basically mission two not mission two sorry operation two a mother's love and that is the miniatures for that thanks for watching it's a short video uh, I will do another short video soon. I may take it on to the end of this one or I may do it separately for the third operation. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will just say um, thanks to everybody who subscribed in the last uh, few weeks because I've got 108 subscribers now, which is a lot more than I thought I would ever get considering the uh, my output and also the, the content. I do have a, a new tripod now and I also have uh, another new, uh, well you can't really say it seriously, another new tri tripod which I may try and do some record like static and sort of my um, motion sickness inducing ones at the same time and try and splice them together but we'll see how that goes. And there you can see I've got another new tripod there, very nice. So thanks for watching, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot, bye.